So San Diego Comic-Con 2017 has begun. I love Comic-Con. It's the biggest event of popular culture. So much comes out of it. And tomorrow is the big day. We're going to get stuff from DC. We're going to get stuff from Marvel. And of course, we're going to get stuff from Once Upon a Time. Now, before I talk about Once Upon a Time, I just want to say from Marvel and DC, I really want to see stuff for Thor Ragnarok and Justice League. I think the Justice League animated television show was one of the best TV shows I've ever seen, and I cannot wait to see the full Justice League movie. I think it's going to be amazing, even though Zack Snyder is not my favorite director. And Thor Ragnarok from the teaser trailer looks fantastic. Cate Blanchett as Hela. Woo! Awesome. So anyway, those are the two big things from the non-Once Upon a Time side of Comic-Con that I will attempt to cover. Now, for Once Upon a Time, we're probably going to get a clip show trailer, a sneak peek, and hopefully casting reveals. We really want to see who Adelaide Keene and um, Mika Cox and uh, Rose Reynolds and uh, Gabrielle Anwar will be playing. We already know who Diana Ramirez is playing because she's playing Cinderella version 2, which I think is stupid. Why on earth would you do a second Cinderella? I've discussed it many times now. It just makes no sense. But I still want to know who these other characters will be playing. My hope is they will go in the non-multiverse route that they're already doing and give us actually new characters. Anyway, so for our co coverage tomorrow, what I'll be doing is a trailer review of the Clip Show trailer. It's probably going to be a Clip Show trailer, as I said. I, I don't think it's going to be that good. It's probably going to be a, a couple clips from the end of season six, like the finale, like the literal like last two minutes probably meshed together to make a, a 30 second trailer. It'll work. Um, it won't be that great, but it will get people interested. And then I really, really hope we get a sneak peek because for the past three Comic Cons I've covered, we've gotten sneak peeks. We got the Frozen sneak peek, we got the Dark Swan sneak peek, we got the Aladdin sneak peek. The Aladdin sneak peek I really, really liked. I also loved the Frozen sneak peek. That was really cool. So anyway, we're probably going to be getting a sneak peek, and I really hope we get a scene with Lana Paria because Lana Paria is the only character from Once Upon a Time from filming we have yet to see. They've really kept her filming under wraps, which I find hilarious and also really strange. I'm really curious if the writers have changed her character to the point that the fans might be a little upset at what they see. Now, uh, the main part of this video, because, you know, I haven't seen anything from Comic-Con yet, but like I said, tomorrow, uh, I believe the panel is at 10 a.m. East uh, Pacific Standard Time, so that means at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, everything should come out. I, uh, I'll be seeing, uh, I'll be at the movies, I know, tomorrow morning, so I'll cover it when I'm done with the film. Now, um, what I want to talk about in this video really, really quick is, well, Jennifer Morrison, Jared Gilmore and Colin O'Donoghue have filmed a scene together. My guess is they filmed it for the premiere episode of Hyperion Heights, which is kind of a bummer because I really want them to be in another episode as well altogether. I've already gave my spiel on how I think Jennifer Morrison's filming should have been done. I think she should have done one, two, and then the finale. I think that would have made sense from a business perspective. But the fact that they're together is really, really touching. I love these characters so much. Now, I've already made many comments. I don't think Jared Gilmore is that great of an actor. I said he has the basis for being an actor, you know, but he's never really essentially wowed me. But when he's with Jennifer, Lana, or even Colin, he works well. Like, he's able to bounce off. I feel like they um, have, like, an aura of good acting that inspires his okay acting, in my opinion, to become even better. So I really love the fact that the three of them have a, a scene together, and it's nice. It's the, um, oh god, what's Hook's last name? It's the Jones family, more or less, obviously, Henry's last name is Mills. But anyway, it's the the Jones family in a nutshell. And I think it's just really, really touching. Now, the unfortunate part about these photos is it seems to be post-production. So we don't really know what's going to be going on in the scene. But again, it's just nice to know that Season 7 is going to be giving us a throwback to Seasons 1 through 6. However, I think, I, I think really, really strongly that they shouldn't even have to have done that because they really just should have kept the, everyone on the show. Because, you know, the Stoff reboot will have a lot of eyes on it, particularly for the premiere. So my guess is, by the way, when it airs on October 6th, is that all the old fans are going to be so curious to see what's happening because you've lost so many characters, but Jennifer Morrison and Jared are back, so you really want to see what's going to be happening. And maybe this premiere will take off. It will, maybe it will do really, really well. My guess is it might do really well on streaming, though I don't know how much ABC cares about streaming. I think they just want to see the Friday night views, and I think there's a lot of issues with having a show on Friday night. But I, I think that the first episode is going to be really it should do well. I think it should at least hit 3 million views. That's my guess with it because I just think there's a lot of interest in what's going to be going on because you really want to see how Jennifer and Colin or Emma and Hook, you know, end their relationship or balance it out. And also I think a lot of people want to see Jared Gilmore with Lana Paria for one more time. So there's a lot of interest in the premiere. I'm very, very interested in it, but I think as it goes through the remaining um, 21 episodes, it 
it's going to be peaks and valleys and possibly a dip and then it'll plateau out. But that's just my thought. But I really love these photos. I think they're really, really touching photos and they're great for fans who are very, very curious and very, very concerned about what's going to be going on with these favorite, with these characters. Um, one thing I've noticed about Once Upon a Time is the actors, I think, have more heart than the writers behind the scenes because the actors essentially emulate the, who these characters are. I think we've fallen in love with both the actors and the characters. Um, I think there's more issues behind the scenes of Once Upon a Time than we want to, than we want to know. And I just love these these uh, these characters and these actors so much. And I really, really hope that Lana Priya, Colin Donahue, and Robert Carlyle can heavily promote the show throughout the season run. I think a lot of the viewers will be dependent on these guys promoting it. Now, Jennifer Morrison is actually the most popular of the four of them, which is ridiculous. She almost has a million followers on Twitter, and she has over a million followers on her Instagram. So... Uh, I really hope that Jen is like, watch once, watch once, watch once, watch once, because once we is my is my home. So please, please tune in and let it do well. So anyway, I really just hope that Lana, Robert, and Jared, or not Jared, uh, Lana, Robert, and uh, Colin will promote the show as best they can. Though my fear with that is I think a lot of their followers are also all the same. However, I think it's best for everyone or for all three of them to heavily promote at least the premiere. So I'm excited for Comic-Con. I think it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to hopefully a sneak peek. My fingers are crossed. I think it's going to be fun to see. I'm really curious to see um, if the sneak peek is what I think it is, which I think it's going to be a scene of Andrew J. West and Diana Ramirez at Cinderella for like 10 seconds. I'm guessing. Maybe a minute at the most. That's, that's my major guess there. So I'm really, really curious to see what's going to be going on with that. And of course, the trailer, it'll be all right. It'll get us talking about it. I'm assuming it's really just the, the end of season six. So anyway, I'm curious what you guys have to say about these photos. I think these photos are just so touching, so heartwarming, and just really, really fun to look at. And I can't wait to see um, this scene. I can't wait to see Jared's scene with Lana. Now, are you guys excited for Comic-Con? Is there anything else particularly that you want to see covered from Comic-Con and reviewed and analyzed? I think minus Thor Ragnarok, The Justice League, and Once Upon a Time, there's not too, too, too much. The DC shows have a good chunk of stuff coming from it. Hopefully, Flash and Supergirl will get something good, but, um, they generally don't do as much with, um, with trailers and stuff because their filming is essentially the same schedule as once where the, um, it's their clip shows. So it's just kind of how it is. They're going to probably do casting announcements and whatnot. But uh, in terms of footage, it's it's kind of moot, which is unfortunate. So anyway, share your thoughts in the comments below. Tell me if you guys want me to cover anything from Comic-Con that you're looking forward to besides Once Upon a Time, because Once Upon a Time is just a given. So anyway, thank you for tuning in, and we'll talk real soon. Okay, guys.